how each Hokage would do against Pain's invasion. So we already seen what the seventh Hokage, aka the boy Naruto, can do, but now we're gonna be seeing what the other Hokage could do. Let's go ahead and get right into this. I also create win conditions, and in this video, the win conditions are defeating Pain and not allowing Naruto to be captured. I'll be ranking the Okage. Oh, so Naruto's in this as well. Okay. Hokage's by how well they do from least to greatest. I'm also going to add in Donzo this time. At number eight, I have Donzo. Oh my god. Donzo is a strange scenario because we have two Donzos and one would be conspiring for the other to die. I think it's pretty funny to imagine Donzo talking to the Root about not defending the village so that the other Donzo's role would come to an end. Anyway, Donzo would not allow Naruto to come back. We know what his philosophy is on Tailed Beast, so he definitely wouldn't allow this. This means that Donzo can join- so They're already off the bat starting off with Donzo, The fight bro, quickly. What? Donzo would actually try to fight the animal past what? summonings first since included? it would be causing the most commotion. He would summon his elephant who would not be able to suck in the other summons, but would still fight them. Donzo would use a powerful wind style jutsu on a summon and realize that his attack splits the other's summons into two. Donzo would be smart enough to realize that these summons can't be destroyed by a conventional method. Yeah, Pain is definitely whooping Donzo. And would leave his elephant to deal with it. The At fuck? that point, the Diva Path would create so much collateral damage that it would attract Donzo and the other shinobi that aided Kakashi originally. Donzo having cowardly traits and being self-absorbed would mostly let the other shinobi do his dirty work. Also, I don't know why he's including two Donzos. Like, that just makes it confusing, bro. Like, just he would allow that. Kakashi, Choji, and Choza to try their plan. And once they are defeated, Donzo would step in to protect them. I haven't mentioned it yet, but Donzo would have his Sharingan arm wrapped up so that no one would know about it. He unwrapped it against Sasuke just to intimidate him. Donzo oh. is working against the clock here though, because once the human path finds out where Naruto is, the diva path would destroy the whole village. Donzo knows about the diva path and how he can manipulate gravity, and all the other intel already collected on pain. In a one-on-one -on -one with Tendo, there is no way Donzo can win though. Nagato wouldn't be able- yeah, definitely. Yeah, Donzo's getting to mauled. to figure out Izanagi, but that doesn't mean Donzo has any way to kill Tendo Pain. Kakashi was able to use his Shidori, Intellect, and other Shinobi in order to almost kill Tendo Pain. Donzo is lacking in all of those things. He's not dumb, but he's not as smart as Kakashi, and he can't utilize his arsenal to defeat Tendo. With enough, and he's a bitch. enough time, he may be able to figure out something, but he doesn't have that. After Donzo were to use a few lives, the human path would discover Naruto's location, and the village would be completely destroyed. Practically no one would survive against Katsuyu. Pain would travel to Mount Miyaboku and fight Naruto. Naruto wouldn't be able to defeat Pain without the Nine Tails erupting because he watched Pain kill his waifu. From that point on, it's tricky to decide what would happen, but I know that the infinite Tsukuyomi would become a success. This means that Donzo can't defeat Pain, and he can't prevent Naruto from being captured, so he belongs in the lowest tier. Yeah, get get Donzo's bitch ass out of here. At number 7, I have Hiruzen. Hiruzen will be the age he was when he fought oh. Orochimaru. When it comes to the decision to call Naruto back, it's somewhat hard to call on what he would do. He didn't have any grievances with Naruto fighting in the war arc. I think I'll take pain this one. But I Naruto was a lot stronger then. Hiruzen has a this history a of caving into the Elder's demands, so I think he'll decide to not let Naruto come back. Once Hiruzen enters the battle, he'll use his monkey stick to push the animal summons out of the village. He was able to do this with the nine tails easily, so this would be even easier. After that, he would be drawn. Okay, yeah, he got that. He got that. To Tendo Pain and join Kakashi and the others. They would reach a point where they discuss what to do against Pain. Hiruzen doesn't fit into Kakashi's plan since Hiruzen doesn't have an insta kill move like Shidori. Kakashi would try his plan and it would. Doesn't he know like every jutsu or some shit? <laughs> like, bro. Yeah, like he did originally. What? This leads a one on one with Hiruzen and Tendo Pain. Hearson would understand how this path of pain works pretty well and would decide to use his shadow clones against them. Okay. He would use them because they can attack after an almighty push potentially, but they're useless against the almighty pull. All in all, even if Tindo was holding back, Hearson wouldn't be able to defeat him fast yeah. enough. The human path would discover Naruto's location and Nagato would react by destroying the whole village. Practically no one would survive. From there, the story takes the same path as it did with Donzo. This means that Hiruzen is in the can't defeat pain and can't prevent Naruto from being captured tier. Yeah, get this old bag of shit out of my face. I'm skipping to the next Hokage. Alright, Tsunade. Higher on the list. She may not be able to defeat pain herself, but calling back Naruto worked, and she was able to save many lives through Katsuyu. It really didn't matter because- uh, I still don't think Tsunade is winning, no. Because Nagato or used Rene Rebirth in the end. I don't think Tsunade could do it. Anyway, she goes in the can't defeat pain and can prevent Naruto from being captured here. At number five, I have Kakashi. Yeah, get her Hokage. out of here. She's fine as fuck, but like, I'm sorry, get her out of here. Kakashi is a weird scenario because you have one without a Sharingan and one with the one. We'll say that no one pays attention to this odd occurrence, though. 
Pain would begin his attack, and Kakashi would have to make the decision on whether or not. As much as I love Kakashi, I still feel like he might lose this. I'm gonna listen to what he's gonna say though. Not to bring Naruto back. Just like Tsunade, Kakashi would have faith in Naruto and believe he was stronger than him, so he would decide to call him back. As Kakashi leaves his office, Danzo would kill the messenger frog though. Sharingan and Kakashi would fight pain some, and that wouldn't change from how it went originally. Then yeah. Choji's father would incapacitate the osteopath, and reinforcements would arrive, including Hokage and Kakashi. Hokage and Kakashi would ignore the animal summonings because he has little he can do against them. They would fight Tendo for a while until both Kakashis think of a plan. It wouldn't change much from the original. Both thing. Kakashis? So, wait, so what, what the fuck is going on? I don't know what is going on, bro. So there's apparently two Kakashis versus Pain. Man. Sharingan and Kakashi would bait an almighty push by coming out of the ground, and Choji and Chozo would blitz Pain. Once Pain Almighty pushes them... Okay, if there's two Kakashis, then I think they might actually... They win. would chain him up. Sharingan Kakashi would go for the Shidori, but so would Hokage Kakashi by coming out of the ground just like Sharingan Kakashi did. Yeah. Their Shidoris would be staggered because Hokage Kakashi would take more time to react to Tendo being chained up. Damn. This means that the Asura path would take Sharingan Kakashi's Shidori, but Nagato wouldn't realize that Hokage Kakashi would come from behind as a failsafe. So Tendo Pain would also be destroyed. I know you're not supposed to use Shidori without our Sharingan, but it's at point blank range, so I think Hokage Kakashi would take the risk. Anyways, this is huge to yeah. say the least. They, I, I, yeah, they definitely win. This. this would draw the other four paths and Conan towards them. The other shinobis who were fighting them would also be inclined to follow them though. Nagato's game plan would be to use the Naraka path to repair the two broken paths. This is an uphill battle though because they would have to face the whole village and try to get them away from the two broken paths of pain. Both Kakashis are much smarter than Nagato so not only would they be wary of leaving the destroyed paths in the open, they would also be able to read that the other paths are trying to reach the damaged paths. Yeah definitely, that's my goat right there, just the smartest character, that's my goat. Whether or not they can achieve that is up in the air but I don't think they'd have the time. Not long after Kakashi died in the original timeline, Naruto arrived at the village. I believe that Naruto would join the fight before they could retrieve the broken paths. Naruto was able to defeat all the paths of pain minus Tendo, so these paths don't stand a chance with all yeah, the other definitely. help Naruto gets here. Naruto would also use a chakra to find Nagato's location, and once the paths of pain are destroyed, he would go to Nagato. Other shinobi would follow him and watch reluctantly as he approached Nagato. Nagato would receive a talk no jutsu, and he would perform a Rene rebirth. He wouldn't die because he'd have chakra left over, unlike in the original timeline. Going oh. forward, Nagato would ally with the Leaf Village. So strangely enough, two okay. Kakashis can defeat Pain. One could yeah, definitely. That's literally good eats for Naruto and the two Kakashis. Kakashi was already very close and kind of lost due to plot armor. Anyway, that puts Kakashi in the can defeat Pain and can stop Naruto from being captured here. Yes, I know it seems sir. crazy that Kakashi can do this, but Nagato's arrogance put him at danger of an Easy. early to do six things that Minato is Naruto's dad. Before I have Minato, in this scenario, we'll say that no one thinks that Minato is Naruto's dad. When it comes to calling back Naruto, oh. Minato will make that decision. Because Minato, I don't know, man. I, sh dude. I can see him believing in Naruto like Tsunade or Kakashi. Danzo would kill the messenger frog once Minato left his office, though. Minato would take on the summonings by using Gamabunta. After discovering that they split in half, he would teleport them away from the village. From there, think, he would be drawn. I think Minato might actually be able to do it. But, like... Okay, yeah, so he definitely takes out the, the summonings, but, like, in the actual fight, I don't know, bro. He definitely outspeeds them, but, like, I don't know if he outhacks them, The bro. collateral like, damage that Tendo Pain is causing. It's hard. He would make it there before the other Leaf Shinobi, and Kakashi would share intel with Minato. Chozo would incapacitate the Osra path, and the other Leaf Shinobi would join the fight. From there, Kakashi would think of his original plan, and Minato would add on to it. Kakashi would come from underground and bait an almighty push. Ooh. He'd be holding on to Minato's kunai though, so Minato could use Flying Rising Level 2 to surprise the Diva Path with the Rasengan. Oh, okay, I did not see that. Hmm. I think Minato might actually be able to stand a chance. I forgot, bro. This man has Flying Rising. That's like his main gimmick. How did I forget that? The Osiris Path wouldn't be fast enough, and the Diva Path would be destroyed. From that point... I bro, this man killed... I forgot. This man beat the shit out of Obito, too. I... I think he might not. The story takes it. the same path as it did with Hokage and Kakashi. This puts Minato in the can defeat pain and prevent Naruto from being captured here. And number three. Valid, valid. Okay, that's valid. Yeah, definitely. I have Toby Rama. 
Toby Rama would probably allow for Naruto to be summoned. I don't see him being persuaded by the village elders, and he'd realize that they'd find Naruto eventually anyway. He'll decide he wants extra help and call back Naruto. Donzo oh would boy. destroy the messenger so it is the racist. Toby Rama leaves his office. Toby Rama would tackle the summonings and try to attack them. After oh, sorry, Pain was an Uchiha light, bro. <laughs> Toby Rama's no diffing all of them, bro. Realizing they all split the in half, he would use the flying Raijin to teleport them away from the village. After that, he would hey, be drawn to- uh, Toby Rama has that shit as well. He created it. What's the collateral damage that Tendo Pain is causing? Toby Rama would join Kakashi before the other leaf Shinobi, and Kakashi would share his intel. I don't, I don't think Toby Rama could do it, though. Like, I, mm, I don't think Toby Rama could- I don't know. I don't Chosa would incapacitate the Osir path, and all the other leaf Shinobi would join the fight. They would try to attack Tendo from a distance and fail. Kakashi would come up with his original plan, and Tobirama would add to it. Tobirama's flying Raijin slice would be the failsafe of Kakashi's plan, and it would work. From that point on, this story would continue the same as it did with Hokage, Kakashi, and Minato. All the paths of pain get destroyed, and Nagato would use Rene Rebirth. The only difference is Tobirama would be more cautious about talking to Nagato than Kakashi and Minato, but since Nagato wouldn't really attack them, it wouldn't escalate. This puts Tobirama in the can defeat pain and can stop Naruto from being captured here. I don't, I'm not, I don't know. I'm kind of iffy on that, bro. From like, from what I've seen from Tobirama, I, I really don't think he could, mm, man, I really don't know, bro. I don't think he could do it like that. Minato, definitely, yeah, because he was, bro, Tobirama, though, I don't, I don't think he could. I put him above Minato because I think he would create above Minato? Great less collateral damage than Minato while fighting pain. Yeah. Oh, absolutely not. Amabuta would destroy a lot of buildings just by existing. At number two, I have Hashirama. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. He, uh, he's valid. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's, valid. that's valid. That's valid. Hashirama, being the optimistic person he is, would allow Naruto to come back. As he leaves his office... Hashirama is definitely yeah, a thousand percent. Like, he's literally the strongest. Donzo would kill the messenger toad. He would first take on the summonings and use wood style to successfully contain them. From there, he would take on the diva path. Hashirama can ignore the others yeah. and solo the diva path. Literally, His like, this man was fucking boxing with Madara, bro. Like, Pain is like, he's no different. He's persistent bro. I'm sorry. enough that the almighty push couldn't keep up. Hashirama can also defeat him in hand to hand combat. I don't have much to say about Hashirama because he's easy. just Hashirama. Easy, easy. From there, the story is the same as the previous Okage's. I only yeah. put him higher because he can do better against all the passive pain. This puts Hashirama in the no can defeat pain and can prevent Naruto from being captured here. No and at number one, I have Hokage Naruto. This is a weird scenario. <laughs> Bro, Hokage Naruto? Oh my god, this is no reasons, But we'll say no one picks up on there being two Naruto's. Hokage Naruto would call for Sage Mode Naruto to come back. That we don't need Sage Mode Naruto. Hokage Naruto is no different. that sounds. From there, he would use a multitude of Shadow Clones to take on the passive pain. A KCM-1 Shadow Clone defeated the third Red Hage, yeah. so all the passive pain excluding the Diva Path get defeated with negative difficulty. Yeah, That's The Diva no Path doesn't difficulty. last long either. From there, Absolutely Hokage and Naruto would be able to sense Nagato and would go to talk to him alone. Nagato would perform a Rene Rebirth and ally with the Leaf. This means that Hokage and Naruto would have the whole situation under control before Sage Mode Naruto returned. Easily. Naruto gets put in the can defeat pain and can prevent Naruto from being captured here. Easily, easily. Before I end the video, 